What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nicky Rod, a.k.a. the Natty King, a.k.a. the Black Belt Slayer, etc. Listen, today we're going to talk about 10 things I cannot live without. I'll start this off by saying I'm a very minimalist guy, but now that I have money, I have a few objects in my life that elevate my lifestyle. Let's get into it. Item one, my dog. I have a French bulldog named Leo. What the fuck's a pedigree? <laughs> oh, pu purebred? Let me show you some pictures. It's important to have a friendly companion, somebody you can rely on to be consistent in your life, and that's my buddy Leo. He's very calm as his father is, which is me, but he can be aggressive at times. The second he hears that doorbell ring, he'll rip your pinky toe off if, if necessary. We like to nap together here and there. You know, recovery is a must, especially because we're both athletes. My guy's a bit of a model. As you can see, the structure of his face and jawline is perfect for modeling. So something I can't live without is a faithful companion. Somebody that's consistent, they love to eat good, and they'll mess you up if they need to. Item number two, a high quality truck as so. All right, you see these keys, Ford F-150. I've been a truck fan since the beginning of time. My first truck was a 1995 Ford F-150 straight six with a manual transmission. Absolutely love that truck. Once I got some money from Jiu Jitsu, I bought a brand new F-150 and I really have the truck because I do manly stuff as a manly man. And one of the manly things I do is ride dirt bikes. Obviously Jiu Jitsu is great for me. I love it, it loves me. And sometimes I like to get, I like to get away from the sport, have some fun on the weekends and ride some trails, ride some moto and just enjoy the life on a high speed motorcycle. F-150, dirt bike, kind of my secondary can't live without. Again, this is in no specific order, but two things I can't live without, Leo, F-150 and dirt bike. All right guys, next item on the list is friends and family. It's very important to have a tight circle that you can rely on. My friends being my teammates that I train with and teammates that I um, are very close to, be, to being family, right? People that I can, I can rely on, people that I trust very, deeply and care for. And my family, here's a picture of my family. This is myself, J-Rod, and my dad. Dad, mom, and Nikki Rod, right? Obviously we're very handsome, very good looking group. And this is my younger sister. Again, important to have a tight circle of people that you can rely on, people that you can call to get you out of a mud hole at 2 a.m. That's the kind of people I rely on. So for every tight group, rely on my family, trust them dearly, love them dearly. As you begin to progress and reach your goals in life, it's important to, it's important to share that joy, share that progression with your family and with your tight friends. So definitely on my list of things I can't live without is good friends and a loving, caring, reliable family. All right, y'all, next item on the list are my everyday essentials, my everyday carries, my EDC item is a knife. Important to have a high quality knife. This is a Smith & Wesson made in China. I wish it was American made, but yeah, just a, a very reliable item to open things, to cut somebody up if you have to. In addition to the everyday carry, of course, because we're in the great state of Texas, I have my everyday carry pistol that goes along with the knife. So a good old Sig Sawyer, PW20, PW30, PW, PW30, right? Sorry, I'm not too good on names, but again, six warrior pistol, extremely reliable. It's important as an American to defend our right to bear arms. And I do just that by carrying my pistol everywhere, every day. Again, pistol, high quality knife for opening boxes. And you'd be surprised how often I use this thing um, just to open shit or just, it's just good to have, you never know. Sometimes I go from practice right to fishing and cut some lines, open some boxes, stir some milk if you have to. Sometimes I eat fruit on the go. If you find yourself uh, uh, battling a, a dragon fruit, you gotta slice it open and get to the goods. So quality knife, quality pistol, and some hollow points to accompany it, you're good to go. Next item on the list is a high quality, high protein snack, which is carne jerky. I love red meat from the ribeyes to the, to the jerky snacks. So for me, something that's pretty low in saturated fat, high in protein, got some high quality seasonings and sodiums in there to help you recover from workouts. But when you don't have time to mix up and sear your good steak, jerky's the way to go. No preservatives, 
no seed oils, nothing like that. A very, very clean, healthy snack that can help you reach your fitness goals. Got in the jerky, C-A-R-N-E-J-E-R-K-Y.com. Check it out. Whose idea was the syringe? Mine, big dog. They call me Natty King, so I had to, you know, produce some controversy. Next item on the list is none other than my gold chain. As you can see, I'm rocking it. 14 carats of gold wrapped around the neck. Maybe I'm a rapper, maybe I'm just a professional athlete. Either way, a present from my dad, a gold chain. Something I've been wearing since, since I was an infant. I've had a gold chain all my life, and we continue to upgrade as I progressed in life. Dad gave it to me, so obviously I care about it a lot. But something I wear every day is fashionable, whether you're wearing clothes or you're practically naked. So either way, with my beautiful olive skin, this yellow gold Cuban link chain looks absolutely amazing on me. And uh, shout out to Dad for hooking me up. And I rock it every day, something I care about dearly. I like the fact that you can wear, you can dress up, you can dress down, you can be working out or just chilling, and you look good with a gold chain on. So rock it every day, and uh, that's about it. Gold chain is a must for Nikki Rod. Next item on the list is a watch. Right now, I'm rocking a G-Shock. Something I love about athletic watches is that one, they're very durable. If it's solar powered, it, it keeps absolutely perfect time and it never dies. If you're getting low on battery, you sit it out in the sun for a couple hours and you get recharged. So solar powered G-Shock watch, I absolutely love it. It's, it's big enough to, and with bold letters that I can see the time perfectly it has a few different settings on here and when i'm doing my after jujitsu workouts sometimes i do imams cross it cross this style workouts i like to time those so i know i'm accurate with my recovery and with the pace that i'm keeping so a high quality very durable and waterproof watch is a must for the lifestyle that i live i do have some fancy watches but as far as for everyday wear i typically I typically beat up stuff that I have. It's very durable, very reliable. And I got, I bought this in Japan. Typically in the US, this is like two or $300 watch. And I got it in Japan for like 90 or, or 100 bucks. So, and again, when it comes to workouts, uh, it's durable, it's waterproof as I'm working out in the pool, ex exercising and stuff, and it keeps perfect time. So, shout out G Stock for making a, uh, an amazing product. Again, solar powered watch, the way to go. Next item is very dear to me. Something I use every single day is a water jug. As an athlete, it's very impor important to stay hydrated. Not only does this carry a gallon of water, but it also doubles as a weapon. If you need to knock somebody out, you don't have time to reach your pistol or your knife, you can swing this thing, toss it across the yard, and put a dent in somebody's forehead if necessary. It's bright yellow, and I load it up with stickers from my sponsors and other things that I love. And, uh, you know, it's taken a beating. I've dropped this thing I practically could drop it out of a helicopter and it still be, still be easy to use, easy to work with. In addition to the normal cap, you can twist it off and it's magnetic. Very hard to lose, to lose the cap. I lose things all the time because sometimes I drop them, I look it on the floor and I'm like, fuck, I don't feel like bending over to pick it up. With a magnetic cap, you don't have to worry about that. For me, I'm a one to two gallon a day kind of guy. So fill this thing up once or twice, as opposed to having the smaller half gallons, etc. You don't have to fill it up over and over. You can simply fill it up once. And it stays fresh and cold all day long. So shout out to Yeti for making a high quality product. A mouth guard. For me, I train very hard. I've, I've come close to knocking teeth out. I've definitely put holes in my tongue from training. So having a high quality mouthpiece is very important. You can see this is molded perfectly. This is from Mouthpiece Guy. Throughout my life of wrestling and jujitsu, I've went through dozens and dozens of mouth guards. And this is my absolute favorite. You get, it mold, you get a mold done of your teeth, you send it back in, and they make a perfect mouth guard to fit you. Fits in there perfectly. Got my Slayer logo on there. Teeth are cool. You see some of these guys have like the fake caps on their teeth. It doesn't look nearly as good as having a beautiful smile. Cheese the dangers of knocking out a tooth or butting your tongue in half. I've definitely had times where I've got head butted or I've put holes in my tongue and it affects your ability to eat soup. I love soup. I want to continue to enjoy soup. Having a mouth card can help you enjoy soup longer. So good mouthpiece is definitely an item on Nikki Rod's list. Final item on the list is adversity. I'm an athlete through and through and these 
These medals are great, but they're not the color that I want them to be. These silvers are a constant reminder of one, how far I've come from just being a local high school or division three wrestler to one of the best grapplers in the world. But the silver also remind me how much work I have still to do. Still have tons of learning, recently got my black belt and I'm at the level now that I deserve gold. <laughs> the silver is cool, but it's not that cool. I've been close for two times. Now I'm gonna go to the next ADCC World Championships 2024 and get me some gold, double gold, heavyweight weight class, absolute weight class. That's mine and I'm coming for it. Adversity, I'm an athlete through and through and I love the battle. I love, the, I love training hard, I love competing. It's one of my passions in life. Again, adversity. These silvers will soon be gold. Mark my words. Even though I'm great at jiu-jitsu, I constantly put myself in bad positions to face the toughest adversity. Things like positional training, positional rounds can be tough. Can be tough for a high level black belt to start from a bad position in training. And adversity is key in continuing in continue to grow, especially in the sport of jiu-jitsu. So for Nikki Rod, adversity is definitely on my list. And these silver medals constantly remind me of the adversity I have faced and the adversity that I will overcome very soon. All right, y'all, that's it for my 10 items that I absolutely cannot live without. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to B-Team Jiu-Jitsu. Check out B-Team Submeta for all our high quality breakdowns and techniques. Give us a thumbs up and drop a comment. In the comments, I want you to tell me one thing that you guys cannot live without. Enjoy the content, and I'll see you next time on B-Team Jiu-Jitsu.